Hello friends, this video on basic concept of chemistry part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 13. Now let's understand stoichiometry because that is how we find the molecular mass of all the elements, how we used to find the, how the chemists used to find in 1800 era. Today also we can find, but we don't use. So this is a very critical process where you deal with calculation of masses, sometimes volume also of the reactant and product involved in a chemical reaction. Please note, there is a chemical reaction and you deal with the masses of reactants and products in the chemical reaction, right? And this is done using balanced chemical reaction. So you should know what is chemical reaction and what is balanced chemical reaction. So we already know what is chemical reaction, just we are repeating it. Whenever a chemical change occurs and a chemical, we, we see that a chemical reaction has taken place. This is the definition of chemical reaction. For example, you have magnesium and you burn in oxygen, you get magnesium dioxide. This is an example of a chemical reaction. Then in chemical reaction, we have something called reactants, some things which undergo a chemical reaction and something called product, the new substance that is formed from a chemical reaction. For example, in this case, magnesium and oxide, this is my reactant and this guy is my product. Right? Because this is the output, this is the input. We talk about balanced chemical reaction, it has to be balanced. My reactant and product has to be balanced, right? So the law of conservation of mass says that mass can neither be created nor can be destroyed in chemical reaction. Thus, the total mass of elements in the product is equal to the total mass of element in the reactant, right? This is, and this was given by I think Lavos here, right? So that becomes a basic fundamental of uh, a chemical reaction, right? So, so this is how this is the reaction on which my balanced chemical reaction is based on. So the number of atoms of each element remains same before and after chemical reaction. That is something which you observe for a balanced chemical reaction. For example, in this case, 2 mg plus O2 reacts to gives 2 mg. So if you see there are two magnesium molecules, there are two oxygen molecules here, and there are 2 into 1, two oxygen molecules here also. Correct? Both sides have similar number of oxygen and magnesium molecules. Zinc plus sulfuric acid will give you zinc sulfate and hydrogen. If you see, there is one zinc, one zinc, one sulfate ions, one sulfate ion, two hydrogens, two hydrogens. So things are balanced, right? So balanced chemical reaction is also used in stoichiometry. For example, CH4 plus O2 will give you CO2 plus H2O. So if I have this reaction, with this I can tell that one mole of methane reacts with two moles of oxygen, please note it is in the mole, right, to give one mole of carbon dioxide and two mole of water. This reaction still that one mole of methane reacts, I can't say one gram of uh, methane reacts with one gram of oxygen to give one gram of carbon dioxide, I can't tell, I have to tell, this reaction says that one mole of methane reacts with two mole of oxygen, one mole of carbon dioxide to give two mole of water. Please note everything is in terms of so mole. Right? So, also I can tell one molecule of methane reacts with two molecules of oxygen to give one molecule of carbon dioxide and two molecules of oxygen. These much I can tell. Correct? Now I know that one mole of methane is nothing but 16 grams of methane. I told, right? One mole is nothing but uh, my, my atomic mass, atomic mass in grams. So, one CH4, if you see the molar mass, atomic mass, or you can say the molecular mass, in this case is the molecule CH4, so molecular mass of CH4 will be 16, 12 carbon plus 4 hydrogen, so 12 plus 16, 16 grams of methane reacts with 2 molecules of oxygen, that is 2 into 32, that is 64 grams of oxygen, to give 1 mole of CO2, that is 44 grams of CO2, why, because CO2 is 12 carbon, and 2 into 16, that is 2 oxygen molecule, that is 644 grams of carbon dioxide, and 2 into 18 grams of hydro water, because one water molecule is 18 grams, and there are two water molecules. So this is something which you get from balanced chemical reaction. And this guy, this will help us in solving stoichiometric questions, right? And this actually helped chemists to find the atomic mass of uh, carbon, hydrogen, and all. But now, since we know the atomic mass, we can find other things, right? So the thought is, so one mole of methane reacts with two mole of oxygen to give one mole of carbon dioxide or two moles of hydrogen. The same mole you can write in 
terms of grams. So this becomes one mole of methane is 60 grams of methane. Two moles of oxygen is nothing but 64 grams of oxygen. One mole of carbon dioxide is 44 grams of carbon dioxide. Two moles of water is 36 grams of water. We'll take some questions of stoichiometry. Calculate the amount of water produced in combustion of 16 grams of methane. So my reaction is like this. I have methane. It reacts with water to give carbon dioxide and H2. Is it balanced? Let's see. Carbon 1, 1. Oxygen is uh, 2 here. Here it is 1 extra. This is hydrogen is 4. Here it is 2. So make it 2. So hydrogen is balanced. So there are 4 oxygens here. 2 plus 2. Here it is 2. Make it 2 is balanced. So this reaction says that 1 mole of methane right, gives 2 mole of water. I am interested in finding the water. So I am writing this equation. 1 mole of methane gives 2 mole of water. 1 mole of methane is what? 16 grams. 16 grams of methane gives 2 moles of water is how much? Water is H2O. 2 hydrogen. 2 into 1 plus water. Uh, oxygen that is 16. This grams of water. Why? Because H2 if you want molecular mass, molar mass that will become 2 into 1 for 2 hydrogen and 16 for oxygen. That is my 16 grams of methane gives 2 into 18 that is 36 grams of water. My question asked find the amount of water producing 16 grams of methane and that's what we got. The answer. Very simple. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.